Let's now talk about automating faders. I feel the bass line could be better if we used a filter throughout the song. Let's play our recorded track, and while the track is playing, we will manipulate the filter. So let's give it a try. Okay, let's try recording that to the sequencer. Let's bring our playhead back to the beginning. Let's select the subtractor in the sequencer. Highlight the record button. Let's click on the subtractor. Highlight the other record button. And when we hit play, we can record the filter movement. As you can now see, once we stop recording, there is a green box around the filter that has the automation. We could also see in the sequencer under our baseline, now there are MIDI movements that we just recorded. If we click play, we can watch the fader movements. You can now see how automating faders can spice up your track.